Hello, this is Chiron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please, leave what does not. Somebody has the Ten of Wands out here first. It feels like a burden. Like it's a it's a big burden on somebody's back or somebody's like over over exhausted. Somebody's doing too much. We have the King of Cups here. Somebody's really holding their emotions together. They're really trying to hold themselves together here, but something is like, it's it's just too much. Like somebody's ready to go. Like I'm almost feeling like somebody doesn't even want to fight. You know what I'm saying? Like the King of Cups is not about all of that. The King of Cups just wants peace. Like they just want love. They just want, you know, balance and things like that. When it comes to their emotion and their soul and their creativity and you know, how they feel about things. It's like, I feel like somebody does not want to blow up on somebody. Like they don't want to do this. But they want to leave though. They definitely want to leave. We have the Queen of Swords here. It looks like somebody somebody gave this King of Cups this energy. And almost, oh my God, the King of Cups is looking this way. They're looking away. And behind their back is this Queen of Swords with this Ten of Wands here. It's like... It's almost like this King of Cups acted like they didn't see this or acted like they didn't feel this or acted like like they did not they did not expose what this Queen of Sword was doing. They felt it and they're moving along. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay. It's like this Queen of Cups really really on an extreme level I mean, this Queen of Swords tried to hurt this King of Cups and the King of Cups left. Like they move forward. They say, I don't need this. You have the Knight of Wands here. Oh shit, wait a minute. Never mind. Did I say that the King of Cups didn't say nothing back? I take that back. Because the Queen of Cups, I mean, the Queen of Sword and the Knight of Wands, they're facing each other. They're facing each other. And it's like this queen of sword is the aggressor. This queen of sword. It's almost like it wasn't meant. This was not meant to be seen. You know, like energy. When you when you throw energy at somebody or when you're trying to make somebody angry. You know how people, they antagonize you and they fucking try to get under your skin. And then when you snap, then you look crazy. Right. I think that this was not meant to be seen. Okay. But it definitely gave this King of Cups, the fire to fight back in some kind of way. They did because they're facing each other right here. Okay. And this Knight of Wands is, yeah, they're fire. I'm just saying that's fire. That's like spirit. That's like God energy. That's like when God says, this is your path. This is what you're going to do. In this case, I would say that the Queen of Swords lost this battle. I would say that the Queen of Swords lost. Like whoever this is that made some type of judgment or something like that, they lost this battle. Look at that emperor. Exactly. They lost the battle. They lost the battle. Somebody took control over their life. Like this queen of sword tried to antagonize a king of cups. Somebody with a big heart. Okay. And this person with the big heart, they took that energy and they threw that shit right back. They threw it right back. The knight of wands is very good with the wands energy. The Queen of Swords, however, they're good with the Swords energy. I don't see no other Swords. I see Wands energy, though. That's how I know. And this is also fire. Knight of Wands is fire. The Emperor is Aries energy. That is a cardinal fire sign. The only thing that's not fire is funny because it's this King of Cups. Like, this King, this is like, it's giving... I'm nice, but don't play with me. Okay. It's giving, don't let the smile fool you. 
okay? It's giving, they look like, you know, how can I say this? You look real kind and nice and you're you're very giving and forgiving, but you're a fucking black belt in Kung Fu, okay? That's what it's giving. We have the magician here also at the bottom of the deck. So somebody definitely has all the pieces or somebody, shit, somebody took some type of action here to manifest something. Like something was manifested, something was created. Okay. Hmm. Oh, we got the judgment card. Oh, we got the empress also. The empress and the judgment. Somebody. It's weird, but it's like somebody judged like an empress. You could be the empress or you can be the emperor here. I actually feel like it's the same energy here. I feel like there's somebody here that you are abundant, you are fertile, you give life everywhere that you go. And I feel like it's somebody here that took control over their life. So I feel like somebody's coming out as both. But in this situation here, it's as if somebody like, okay, it's almost like tr somebody tried to set the forest on fire. Like they tried like, okay, when the Empress comes around, things start growing, flowers start growing and blossoming and shit. The grass start growing back. The trees start bearing fruit. That's the Empress, right? If you have the judgment next to that, I know somebody judged that. And the 10 of wands is like fire. It's the most fire. It's the consume. It's going to consume somebody, consume somebody's soul. And that's what they may have tried to do. But they did this to an empress, though. So somebody was absolutely wrong. That's weird. That's like, oh, my God. It's kind of like a forest fire, like. I don't know why I'm getting that, like a forest fire, like from one tree to the next, to the next, to the next, like, like lighting something up or trying to make something bigger or something like that, trying to blow something up. Like I'm getting that. And they did this to this empress. But it's like somebody woke up here. You got the lover's card. You got Gemini energy here. Hmm. This could have been a partnership now. And that's probably why they're coming out as the King of Cups. Like there was some type of partnership. I don't know if it was business, friendship, whatever. Okay. But it's like there was some type of partnership here. It's like almost like somebody turned on somebody. Somebody did some shit behind this person's back. And it's like, I think this person caught on to it because it's like a wildfire. Like when you're in the middle of a fire, it's like you're going to know or you're in the middle of something that's being consumed or you're in the middle of something. I can't, I'm trying to articulate this the best way that I can. We have the three of cups here. This was, this was like something, man, I already said family and friend, but it was like, it's something here where like you trusted this person or like there was some type of like common grounds. Okay. Like common understanding, um, like a common happiness or something like that. Like the King of Cups thought everything was all good. And it's like, little did they know they was being attacked behind their back. And like somebody was setting the forest on fire. It's almost like this. It gives me like, you know how birds, they have their nest in the trees or like, you know, the animals, some animals like they live in the trees. And it's like, they don't know what's going on. They don't know that the fire is, is jumping from one tree to the next. And it's like, before you know it, you're caught in the middle of it or some shit like that. That's what I'm getting here. I don't know why I'm seeing it like that.
we have the emperor energy once again out here twice. Like somebody said, no, somebody took control over the situation. Somebody definitely took control over the situation. Like something snapped into gear or somebody was questioning your authority or somebody didn't think you had any authority or somebody, you know, they didn't want you to be abundant. So they just set everything on fire. And it's like, it's terrible. It's like, it's not like a little fire. It's like, you know, let's say you was, this person was trying to just burn your house down. Like they burned down the whole fucking block. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a big, it's something bigger than what it seems. This is like, almost like, let's say this person was trying to take you down and they like said something about you, but it says something about everybody or something like that or it says something about everybody like you or it's like it <laughs> man whatever this was it went further than i think somebody thought it was going to go that's what i think it went further it could even be the energy of the empress waking something up or people rising out of their grave or people becoming aware of something You have the Page of Cups energy here, right next to this Emperor. This is on the Three of Wands here. It could be somebody that's taking their love elsewhere, or it could be somebody that is like trying to apologize to this Emperor, or like they don't want them to go, or something like that, or they want them back, or something like it's like I feel like it's some type of peace offering or something. But like, do you know what I'm saying? Hold on. If you want to burn down a whole fucking forest, like you can't come with a little glass of water, if you understand what I'm saying. You know, like it's not going to work. This little ass apology, this little ass is something like this emperor is not even looking at this page of cups. They're not even looking. They're not checking for them. They're not looking at them. They're not. They don't care about that little cup. Like somebody's leaving regardless. Queen of Sword here with this Wheel of Fortune. Like this person was trying to, to like change somebody's luck or they were trying to change something around or change how people viewed somebody or saw somebody or they tried to change some type of information. You have the Queen of Cups here. Wait a minute. This person be going. Okay. The first thing that came to mind was that this person goes or like they changed up. They switched up. Like they went from judging to like trying to act like they love you or some shit like that. They switched it up. They changed something up. Okay. It may have something to do with luck or their luck. Like they're trying to switch it up because they see something was not like, like I said, it, it's almost like this person tried to set your house on fire, but they wanted up setting everybody's house on fire. And now somebody's trying to hide their hands. They're trying to act like they didn't say something or they didn't do something because it went further than they thought it was going to go. What is this that then fell in my lap? What is this? And these are in, look at this. These were in reverse. They fell in my lap. Eight of cups in reverse. And then the king of swords is in reverse. Like somebody definitely couldn't let somebody go or they can't let something go. They don't want to let something go, but it's like they lied about something like big lie. The king of swords is in reverse. They fucking big lied on this shit. It's like they might have. How can I say? They might have a new perspective on something. They might like, maybe they don't want to lose somebody. Maybe they don't want to walk away. Maybe they, maybe they're trying to prevent something from walking away. But it's like, I really feel like this is somebody that has to eat their words. Like they have to sit in what this is. They can't walk away from whatever it is that they did. They can't walk away from like, however it is that they, they could have made somebody feel some type of way. They could have. Like I said, lit something up and it got bigger than what they thought it was. And it's like they can't get out the hole now. 
Like imagine lighting the fucking forest on fire and then you can't even get out the damn forest. You get what I'm saying? This is somebody that they have to sit in the bed that they fucking made. They got to sit in the hole that they dug for you. They can't walk away from it. The lies and deceit or whatever the fuck. This is a big lie. This is the king of sword. He's supposed to be trusted. You know what I'm saying? He's supposed to be somebody that that can be trusted. Somebody that's of discipline and truth. Okay? Not somebody that's fucking manipulative and fucking cruel. Okay? This is very weak energy right here. Like, But somebody can't. They're not able to get out of this. They're not able to get out of this. It's like as clear as day. And that's probably why somebody's asserting themselves back. Somebody is asserting themselves. Like that's what somebody did. And I'm even get like I said, I'm getting the energy of somebody that can't let something go. Like they twisted some type of shit up. They twisted some type of words. They twisted some type of shit. And now they can't they can't let it go. And it's also like I'm even getting that somebody's being identified like it's almost like they know who started the fire. They know who started the fire. You have the king of pentacles here. OK, this could be an earth sign that walked away because this is right on top of the emperor. It's like they could. And you know what? Now I'm starting to realize why this magician is out here. They could have did some fucking magic to do this shit. Or they could have hired somebody to do some shit. And it's like it, maybe it went a lot further than they thought it was going to go. Maybe they didn't mean to make it go as far. Maybe they didn't even. They never even touched your house. But they burned everything around it. It's something like that. Oh, and we have the Ace of Pentacles here. Like going off to a whole new opportunity. Going off and building something new, going off and like this is an opportunity from God. Like, I guess it's a blessing in disguise that somebody tried to destroy somebody. Literally, somebody that's a lot of fucking fire. I mean, out of all of the elements, OK, the Ten of Pentacles looks beautiful. The Ten of Cups is beautiful. The Ten of Swords is a little bit scary, but the Ten of Wands that's like an ass whooping. That's like fire. That's like consuming everything. That's like burn everything down to the ground. Like don't care about the inhabitants of, you know what I'm saying? What's living there. They don't care about what they're saying could be destroying more than what they intended on destroying. Like maybe you was the target and it, it became much bigger. Like they were trying to take you out. They wanted up taking everybody the fuck out. Look at this. The magician hits here with the damn ace of swords here. Yeah. Word witch. Word witchery. Okay. Word games. Using word to create some shit. Using word to manipulate. Okay. <sighs> this somebody. This is somebody. They're, they're a professional fucking liar. That's what they are, a professional liar. They use their words to burn things down, to destroy things. Or like I said, they hired somebody to do some shit. You got the five of swords here. Yes, it's like all because they they had conflicting views like they didn't. They must have not thought you was an empress or something because five of sword is like they just don't. They don't y'all don't see the same thing. Y'all don't see eye to eye on something. Somebody's right. Somebody's wrong. That's how this person feels like somebody got to be right. And I'm going to be right. You're going to be wrong. And like they tried to force it. It's like this is the kind of energy like. <sighs> this is a person that would lie and say there's no trees in the forest and then they go burn the forest down just to make it seem true what they're saying. OK, that's what I mean. Somebody went further than it was supposed to go. It was not meant to go that far. It was not meant to go that far, but it did. Look, this is somebody from the past here. This is somebody probably reminiscing on this shit or thinking about this. 
let me get one more here. Look at this, and then you have the Nine of Pentacles here. Somebody was who they said. It's the freaking Nine of Pentacles, man. Somebody was so freaking abundant, and this person had conflicting views about this. So abundant. When I tell you, when the Empress comes around, everything grows. The flowers grow. The flowers blossom. The trees bear fruit. The grass grows. The animals come around. The sun is shining. The, the rain comes just to uh, give nourishment to the... You know what I'm saying? And somebody had conflicting views about that. Somebody wanted to change that outlook. They wanted to change what was true. Okay? They wanted to change the fact that you probably did help something or you did bring life to something okay and now they're reminiscing on the shit and they can see your value they can see it and i think even others if anybody else was involved in this shit because you do got the lovers and the three of cups so that's multiple people if anybody else was involved in this shit this person cannot get out of this they know that this person did this shit they know that this person set the shit on fire they know that they did OK, and could have been the reason why somebody with this three of wands here, somebody definitely went their own way. They definitely chose to go a new direction. They definitely took control over their life. OK, and somebody's probably going to be glad that they did it because you have the king of pentacles here with the ace of pentacles. It's a completely new opportunity, like somebody taking their shit and going somewhere else. Like, let's say there was like some type of investor. He has the good, he has money, he has good ideas. He's bringing jobs, he's bringing this, da, 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 da. There's somebody here that doesn't like them or they don't believe in them. So it's like, they cause this investor to leave. And then they look around like, oh, why did the investor leave? And it's because you fucking set the shit on fire and tried to hide your hand and act like you didn't. Look at this, the moon card at the bottom here. And I see the hermit energy sticking out. Okay, we could be talking about Pisces. We could be talking about um, Cancer. We can be talking about Virgo here. I'm also getting somebody did some type of like moon shit. Like somebody did something under the moon or something like that. Like somebody tried to like pull something like subconsciously. Like they try to have some type of subconscious pull or some some type of subconscious like control or something like that. So they lied. They lied to get control over something and then they tried to create uh, a reality around the lie that they fucking told. That's what they tried to do. And then they tried to hide their hand here. Let me get something here. We got forgiveness and understanding. Yeah, right. And then we got friendship and union. Yeah, right. Yeah, the fuck right. I'm telling you, somebody's reminiscing on this shit. And they're like, damn, like, you know, damn, I really did that shit. Or damn, like, this person was abundant. Or damn, you know, I was wrong. Yeah, that's why I'm saying, yeah, the fuck right. I'm going to leave it right here. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.